Hi boys and girls, my name is Mrs. Balde and today I'm going to read a story to you called Ganesha's Sweet Tooth. It's got a lot of lovely illustrations, so keep your eyes out. Ganesha is a Hindu god. He's very important and powerful and a tad chubby. But when he was a kid, he was just like any other kid, except that he had an elephant's head and cruised around on a magical mouse collecting fruit, rice, sweets, and other gifts from the temples in his neighborhood. Ganesha loved to eat sweets and candy, especially the traditional Indian dessert, ladu. His best friend, Mr. Mouse, could eat only one at a time, which was okay by Ganesha. He didn't want to share all his ladus. Squeak! One day, while Ganesha and Mr. Mouse were out looking for sweets, they discovered a new kind of ladu. The Super Jumbo Jawbreaker Ladu. Ganesha snapped up the shiny treat and was about to eat it right there on the spot. Wait, squeaked Mr. Mouse. Don't eat it. It's a jawbreaker. It'll break your tusk. But I'm a god, said Ganesha. I'm invincible. Ganesha popped the ladu in his mouth. He bit down and snap, squeak. Oh no, Mr. Mouse yelled. How will I ever put my tusk back on, Ganesha wailed. Ganesha was very clever and tried all sorts of ideas. What if I tie it on with string? What if I stick it on with glue? Maybe I could just hold it on with my hand. But nothing worked. I look lopsided, he said. Everyone will laugh at me. No, they won't, said Mr. Mouse. Everyone loses their teeth. And besides, you already have an elephant's head and your friends still love you. Ganesha wasn't convinced. He thought he looked awful. He took all his anger and frustration and hurled his tusk at the moon. But the tusk didn't hit the moon. It sailed over a bush and hit the head of an old man who was walking by. Tonk! Is this your tusk? The old man asked. I'm sorry, said Ganesha. I didn't mean to hit you. I was aiming for the moon. What's your name? I'm Ganesha and this is Mr. Mouse. You're Ganesha? The old man exclaimed. I've been looking for you. I'm Vyasha, the poet and I need a special scribe for a poem. It's so long that no man could ever write the whole thing. All the pens in the world would break before it was done. I'm not a man, said Ganesha, and I love stories, but I don't have anything to write with. What about your tusk? Vyasha asked. That's a big tooth. Ganesha said. It's a very special tooth, Vyasha explained, handing Ganesha a piece of paper. Give it a try. Ganesha took the paper and pressed down with the tip of his tusk. It made a mark. Ganesha was so excited that he drew a flower, a tree, and a picture of Mr. Mouse along with a few of his other favorite things. I love my tusk, said Ganesha. I'd be happy to help you. What is the story about? 
The beginning of things, said Vyasha. It's rather hard to sum up. It's called the Mahabharata. Excuse me, said Mr. Mouse, jumping on the end of Ganesha's truck. Trunk. <laughs> I don't mean to interrupt, but what exactly are the terms of this agreement? It's a very long poem, after all. Can you tell the whole story in one go, Vyasha? No stopping? As long as Ganesha understands the meaning of everything I say. Can I eat sweets while I write? asked Ganesha. As long as you don't stop writing, said Vyasha. Ganesha and Mr. Mouse agreed. Let's begin. As Vyasha spoke, Ganesha put his tusk to the paper and began writing. Soon he forgot all about the super, gum, super jumbo jawbreaker Ladu and how funny he looked. He even forgot about the sweets he wanted to eat. Long ago, Vyasha said, there lived a very brave king of Hastinapur. One day when he was out hunting, he happened upon a beautiful woman sitting in the banks of the Ganga River. One hundred thousand verses later, Ganesha put down his tusk. The Mahabharata, the epic Hindu literature, was complete. Ganesha peeked around a stack of paper and saw that Mr. Mouse had been eating his way through the ladus as they worked. The poem had taken a very long time. But Ganesha was happy to see there were still a few left for him and his friends. And I just want to read a few author's notes that they have included. And the story of how Ganesha broke his tusk is one of the most popular legends in Hindu mythology. In it, the poet Vyasha asks the great god Ganesha to transcribe the Mahabharata, which is an ancient, epic Sanskrit poem. Ganesha agrees to help as long as Vyasha can recite the poem without stopping. Vyasha agrees with the condition that Ganesha understand everything he says before he writes it down. Soon after they begin, Ganesha's pen breaks. In order to keep writing, clever Ganesha quickly breaks off his tusk and uses that to finish recording the tale. From then on, Ganesha was also known as Ekandanta, the one-toothed god. Ganesha's sweet tooth is not a retelling of this classic legend, though it's very close to the story. Some elements and scenes in this book are not found in Hindu mythology. The super jumbo jawbreaker, that wasn't really there. And we changed certain plot points to develop an original, and they hope, a fun picture book. Their wish is that readers will be entertained and enchanted by Ganesha and Mr. Mouse and that they'll be inspired to learn even more about the rich and varied stories of Hindu mythology. So I hope you learned something. I know I did. That was an interesting story. Go check it out in the Media Center.